All right, before we begin, I just want to say that I'm using these diamond hole sock kit. Um, comes in a package of five, I think, yeah. And uh, I'm not promoting this, but this is what I'm using to cut the uh, plates. Also using a Craftsman five speed, half horsepower drill press. And the speed I'm using is next to the lowest. Not the lowest, but next to the lowest speed. So that's always good to know when you want to know what speed to use to cut the glass. All right, so let's begin. Okay, we're gonna drill a hole into this plate using a diamond tip special drill that you can purchase online. But first you gotta find your center and I can see it right here. You mark it so that there's no mistake on where the center is. Now, before you even start, um, you want to put a piece of tape on the back side so that it doesn't shatter or break, whatever you want to call it, at the very end. And you take it very slowly at the very end when you're drilling. And I'll show you that in a minute. Make sure it's good tape. I'm using Gorilla Tape. You can use any kind of tape you want. Then, you want to make sure you have water in this to keep the drill bit cool at all times. I've got a little more from my other. We did one already and came out perfectly. So this one, because of the size, I wasn't able to take it perfectly in the center area of the plate, but on this one I will. All right, here we go. We got the water. You want to keep your speed at um, not real slow, but this is a five speed drill motor, and I've got it on the second to the lowest speed, so you'll see as it turns here. What light? You want to turn this light off then? That may be, yeah, it's better. Okay, we turned off the light so you can see it a little better. So here we go. Just putting very light pressure. You don't want to go too fast. We're almost there. I keep going back up so the water falls in there. Make sure we always got that lubricant. There we go. We're all the way through. All right, let's look at our results. Hopefully they're as good as the other one was. And you can see it, it's still in there. The plug. Really good tape. Too good. I'm going to take the label off. And there's the plug. There's the hole. There you go. If you're uh, if you're happy with this video, give us a thumbs thumbs up. Please be sure to subscribe and watch my other videos. Click on the bell. And we're good to go. Thanks for watching. All right, so this is the result of what you can do by drilling holes into three plates. We have this kit we use here. It's a three tire hardware that you can purchase online. And there you have it.